Hi, I'm George Hadley with NBit Wonder, and on today's show, we're going to be finishing the RGB lightsaber build. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the RGB lightsaber project, it's a lightsaber controller in which we can adjust the color of the lightsaber blade to whatever color we want. Um, this is a three-part series. In part one, we designed the control electronics, and in part two, we machined the hilt to accept the control electronics. So now, in part three, we're going to put it all together, and we're going to have a demonstration of its functionality. So let's get started. To start with, I want the device to be programmable without having to rip out all the electronics from inside of the casing. So I added a ribbon cable with a uh, header to allow me to easily reprogram the device while it's sitting inside the lightsaber. Now it's time to bust out the hot glue gun, applying hot glue to expose electrical contacts and other areas that risk being shorted. Then it's off to the end cap and pommel assembly. Using the end cap with the holes we drilled in the previous video, we insert the charge port and power switch, and apply hot glue to help hold those in place. Then we add liberal amounts of hot glue to hold the end cap in place in the pommel assembly. Alright, so one thing I didn't think about when I was working on this build, I uh, secured my pommel assembly using a, a mess of hot glue and stuff, but um, I have this sink tube adapter and it needs to go here and there is no way the battery is going to fit through this. So it's kind of a quick, quick fix, we're going to just cut the wires and crimp them back together and that should serve our purpose. With our pommel assembly completed, it's time to move on to the LED and blade holder assembly. For this step, we need to unscrew the MHS sync tube adapter, add in our heat sinked LED, and then screw on our blade holder assembly. Screw in the tap screws holding the LED blade in place and you're all set. One critical part of making this project work is making sure none of your electronics uh, short out inside the metal casing. For this, you need some insulation. So I went to my local hardware store and I found this piece of white pipe and it just turns out it just so happens to be a perfect fit. So we're going to use this to prevent our electronics from shorting out inside the case. With the control electronics now safely insulated, it now becomes a matter of fitting and fitting, and fitting some more, all of the saber components together. Be patient as this step is fairly difficult and may take quite a while depending on your build process. I finished off the lightsaber with these little black leather grips uh, that I purchased from the custom saber shop. Um, the, it's a fairly simple design, nothing fancy, I just wanted to get this one working to prove its basic theory of operation. But now if we, uh, if we kill the lights, you can see this thing in, in action.
And that's the RGB lightsaber.